Sup nerds, I'm Tom. I'm Wes. And we're going to take a look at the command decks for Star Realms that were originally released with the Frontiers Kickstarter. Now those decks come in these little foil packs that I very carefully opened up to take the cards out so they still remain intact so we could display them on the table here and Wes lost them. <laughs> So the Frontier decks, no. So the Command decks, there's ba- I'm gonna let you explain them because you opened them. <laughs> yeah. These Frontier decks are- <laughs> <laughs> The Command decks are kinda similar to character packs for Hero Realms, or the boss decks for Hero Realms, but they're a little bit in the middle. They're not quite the power level of boss decks, and they're a little bit stronger and more faction specific for the, than, than the character decks. Um, but what they all come with is they come with one card that just kind of tells you your uh, starting factions, your starting health, and the, your hand size. Because you're not just all starting at 50 health or having drawing five cards per turn with these. You also get life trackers specific to your commander. You get two gambits for your commander. You get one uh, big eight cost or really expensive ship that's a uh, unity or united mm -hmm. uh, ship that gets mixed into the deck and then you have your personal deck that isn't just scouts and vipers. You have some faction ships, some, uh, what's really cool is you have some uh, unaligned ships, so they're, they're faction lists, but they do have faction triggers yeah. at the bottom. So what it means is you kind of hit the ground running and you, you're you a lot more powerful than the other two people at the table. Because the way it's supposed to work is generally it's one person has a command deck and there's two people with just regular decks and it's those two people against you. Now you can play these decks against each other and they were apparently they spent a lot of time balancing these decks to make sure that in that mode of play when you do 1v1 that no one deck feels like it's more powerful than the other. However, we also got to recently play we played a free-for-all where mm -hmm. you, me, and Aaron each had a command deck. And now, it doesn't specifically say in the rules to do that with the command decks. I'm certain you could, and they, they but the thing is, they I don't think they fully balanced it that way. They fully play-tested it for that, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, live your life. It's your game. You own it. Do what you want to it. As Bruce from uh, North Star Game says, these are your toys. Play with your toys how you like. I definitely think that this is one of my new favorite ways to play Star Realms. I love, I mean, especially because you can pick how you want your deck to start. I always try to go red-green. Sometimes I try to go red-yellow a little bit. Sometimes I go blue-green. I mean, there's a lot of different color combinations. Pick the one you want. But I love starting strong. I love having a bigger hand. I love in that opening hand being like, oh, I can I can do stuff right now. I can buy that eight cost card with my opening hand. That feels so cool to me. And whether it's against two different people or it's a get head to head against one person that also has a strong deck, I think that that like hit the ground running. It's one of the things I loved about the character decks in Hero Realms was that like there is no ramp up of, okay, this is what's out in the initial flop. Let me kind of base my strategy around what's out there. What can I get? Because typically in Star Realms, like you have what you want to go for, but it really is your first two or three turns. You see what you can afford, what's available to purchase and say, okay, well, I've bought two yellows and a blue now. So I guess I'm going yellow blue this game. <laughs> yeah. Like you may love red, green, Green, but if there's no red green out there at first, you may be like, oh, well, I, you know, throw that out the window. But this, it really ends. But granted, though, you do start with those colors in there. So even yeah. if there is nothing in the flop, it's not, you're not, you know, that detrimental. It's not just saying, hey, buy these colors and you buy these colors. Yeah. You, know, you have those colors. So you are incentivized to, you know, do the, you could still buy, especially if you mix United in with this. That's you, fair. You could so you can just get all four colors. You just get everything. But if you're playing Frontiers with these, it's really great because you have those double trigger cards that you can trigger the first time you buy. Like the first you buy a card, the first time you play it, you've already got some of those factions in your deck. And so those can trigger when you first play them. It's not like I'm going to buy this now and hopefully I get enough of these cards that I can fill my hand with them such that I can get three green cards in one hand. Because I've played games of Star Realms where like I'll buy cards that like I never get more than two of a color in a hand. You just end up with a bunch of rainbow hands that are worthless. Uh, I also do really like the inclusion of the one baller card in your faction's colors that 
uh, in your commander's colors that gets mixed into the deck. But that card is just baller on its own. Yeah. Like, Aaron actually bought yours and his own when we were playing. And while, you know, the your card that got mixed in there would have been better in your hands... Ultimately, it was still a big bomb for Aaron to drop that one down. Because he was still able to trigger it. And still was able to trigger some of his cards because we had one overlapping color. He was playing yellow red. I was playing red green. So the red in that unity card still was able to trigger his cards. And he was still able to activate a lot of the triggers that were on it. I do feel like it's going to be hard for me to sit down to play a two-player game of Star Realms and not want to play with the command decks. Yeah. I can understand not always wanting to do the two players versus one player because mm-hmm. while, while that I do think that was fun and it was really... Actually, as the, the person playing the command deck, I almost felt like at a slight disadvantage. I was an advantage, a huge advantage at first, but, you know, just again, you're fighting against two people... It's it's pretty tough. So it wasn't so much like I was crushing them. Like um, the 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 boss decks in Hero Realms, you mm-hmm. kind of need like the four or five against one yeah. type of thing. When it's like two against one, and that it and there's some balance in there, but it still felt better of a big group against one player. Um, but I would understand, you know, only wanting to play that when you're in the mood to play that variant. And it, does, it makes it kind of a race that, like, look, if we play long enough, their decks are going to be just about just as powerful as my deck. And while I'm drawing an extra card, they may have stronger decks than my deck. And you start with more life. Yeah, but I'm just saying that when you get down to it, they, like, eventually they could get stronger than you are, so you need to kill them before they get to that point. But the one versus one with this is definitely something I'm going to want to do kind of all the time. The only negative is that idea of, like, maybe I don't want to go with these two colors, and maybe we can't decide on which colors we want to choose. The other thing I really like that these decks add is the choice cards. Like, in your starting hand, you get a lot of cards that's like, do you want a coin, or do you want to attack? And, like, having that instead of Scouts and Vipers was, it just, it, It was kind of refreshing. It gave you more choices and more options of like, okay, so not only do you have a bigger starting hand, but now you have like an either or card. So it's, I could have more coins or I could have more attack depending on what I need. If that card is out there where I need one more coin, I can say, okay, well, I'm not going to use these attack and I use it as a coin instead. And it just helped give it enough variety that made it fresh and made it exciting. The only negative to that was playing a deck with a lot of red in it. I did have a lot of culling where I could get rid of cards from my discard pile or hand. And it got to a point where I was like, well, I don't, because you don't start with as many scouts and vipers, it was a lot quicker where I'm like, I don't want to burn any of these cards. Like this card is way too good to burn. And I was burning out better cards, which like, it's always good to get rid of, even if it's a card you bought, if it's like a three cost card, to get rid of those that aren't as good if you're starting to get more five cost cards. What? <laughs> if you have like, okay, so all of your scouts and vipers are gone. Yeah. So now you have a deck that's costs like, Three co- a bunch of three cost cards, a few five cost cards, and a couple eight cost cards. Getting rid of those three cost cards, those five and eight cost cards come up sooner. But you're saying that you would scrap those instead of scrapping the other starter cards that aren't scouts and vipers. It depends on which one it is. If it was like a blue card I bought because it was the only one out there, and okay. like, okay, it's kind of good, but I'd rather get rid of that. You'd rather this... stick with the colors. Yeah, I'd rather stick with the colors or have a card like the um. The ones that don't have a faction, but they have faction trigger abilities, like... It just depends on how you're playing. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. But I I, I was still... I I would still scrap Scouts and Vipers prior to scrapping those, but I was still okay. I was still comfortable scrapping those pretty easily. Yeah. Probably the only negative I'm going to give with these command decks is... You know, I use Star Realms a lot as like sort a semi gateway game. It it really isn't, but it's definitely the first deck builder that intro I showed to building, people. Yeah. Intro to deck building, yeah. I showed people from my school. I showed my mom. It's the first deck builder I ever showed her, and I, I wouldn't start with the command decks. It's yeah. probably kind of obvious, but because of all the choices and because of the additional rules and the fact you have gambits and stuff, it's probably not the first thing I'm going to start off with. But that's like the only negative. That's not really even a negative. It's just like. Is it a negative that you know it's there and you're like, oh, I have to play this base game because I want to play these decks, but they can't no. handle it yet? Like, no. that, that's not a negative. The real, the real negative is that there are two 
command decks that were like Kickstarter exclusives that I don't have. Well, if any of what we were talking about sounds interesting to you, and obviously if you've played any Star Realms things, I'm pretty certain that these are gonna be like a no-brainer for you, right? If you have the big universal storage box, and by the way, if you were looking at these boxes and you were like, wow, those boxes are so awesome, I wish Tom would do like an in-depth show me everything, check our channel, that video is on there, yo. Like Tom was saying, there's gonna be a purchase link in the description box to pick up the command decks that are currently available. And while you're down there, you should definitely subscribe to our channel. That way you will never, oh, be bored. If you guys could see what's not behind the camera and everything else, you would So get we're that. actually between studios right now. The studio used to be at my house. I moved to Orlando for film school. So come back every once in a while to film this stuff. And Wes is in the middle of building a new studio. So this is kind of the temporary one that we threw up. This is so a fake wall. Like this wall doesn't even stay. You hear that? <laughs> but this room is, is very packed. We This is why we're so close to each other right now, because there's not much room. Did you want to know all that? 